If you want delicious goat milk to give you incredibly good health, then you must endure the kidding process and love on some pretty cute kids before you get your milk. But it all begins with a date. But how do you know if your goat is ready for a date? Well, there are a few signs that you can look for that will tell you if your goat is in heat. All goats are individuals and may display all of them or a few or, or some more prominently than others. It's important to know each of your goats individually as much as possible to know what is normal and, and what isn't. And it's always good to record this information in a health and information binder like the one linked below this video. Then from year to year, you can look back on your notes from the last year and see each individual goat's records and that will help you so much. The first signs we will talk about is the tail wag. When your doe is in heat, she will begin to wag her tail back and forth but if she isn't in standing heat, she may not let the buck breed her, even if her tail is wagging. Another sign you may notice is that your does will become more talkative. Some breeds, like Nubians, tend to be more talkative than other breeds, and, and some goats are just naturally more talkative than others. But, you may find that your does increase their vocals when they are in heat. And another sign is that your doe will become very interested in that stinky, icky buck of yours. When your doe is in heat, they will show interest in the buck and will want to cuddle and rub up on that buck. Even if you don't have a buck, on the property, the doe may respond to a buck rag. You can rub a rag on the nastiness, the forehead of a buck, or, or convince somebody else to do it so that you don't stink, and put it in a Ziploc bag or a, like a Tupperware container and, and bring it back to the doe to see if she responds. She will respond with excitement if she is in heat. You may also notice that your does will have vaginal discharge. A doe in heat most likely will have that discharge and it will be a clear gel-like substance and her vulva may also become red, swollen, and wet. A doe's tail may also get a little goopy from that discharge and semen. If you don't notice the vaginal discharge, you may notice that her tail is goopy and that the hairs stick together in clumps from that discharge and the semen. Another sign of heat in goats is that the bucks will begin to act all bucky. Oh boys, the bucks will stink and start to blubber. They'll pee on their heads and anywhere that they can reach to give their ladies a fine aroma. And they will waggle their tongue in a true good old fashioned blubber. You may also notice that your does will urinate more often. And when they do this, it will give the bucks something to put their noses in. The bucks are actually smelling for the chemicals or the pheromones in that urine. And that will tell them if the doe is in heat. And then they will lift their top lip in pleasure. <laughs> and then the dancing begins and the doe will stand for the buck to be bred. She will be considered to be in standing heat when she will stand for the buck to breed her. You may also notice that their milk production drops when they are in heat. She may not want to go like to the milk stand and may not be as interested in eating like she normally is. So not only may their milk production drop, but they can also experience a personality change. <laughs> Do you have a doe that is shy and kind of standoffish? She may become brash and fight more with the other goats. Or maybe the top lady dog of the herd will allow the other goats to push her around more. These changes may be more prominent in some goats than others. 
The last tidbit that you need to know about your doughs is that they will go back into heat on average about every 21 days. Depending on the breed and the individual goat, it's between 18 and 24 days, but the average is 21 days. Again, keeping track of this information in the goat and health and information binder will help you from year to year. Their heat cycle or estrus will last between two and three days. The peak of estrus is when the goat is in standing heat and that's when she allows the buck to breed her. There are seasonal breeding goats and breeds that will also go into heat year around. The seasonal breeders will go into heat seasonally or once a year and usually in the fall months. I'll put a list of those breeds that fit into each category below this video. And if you would like to read and digest the information by reading it, you can find that link below as well. So these signs will give you all you need to know as you head out to the goat barn to check to see if your goats are in heat. Just remember, plug your nose when you stand next to your precious stinky buck.